Hi, my name is Lee. I was a guardian donating my time uh, as a guardian at the um, Brasso event in Las Vegas on the 20th and 21st. Well, I was, um, something really uh, amazing happened and um, I feel as though I have to tell I have to tell you about it. So, without a script, I'm just going to get in touch with the vision of what uh, happened to me. I was standing as guardian in the front um, on the left side of Brazzo, about uh, maybe 10 or 12 feet from the corner of the very first row that went back from Brazzo's gazing position. And there was a, a lady there uh, after Brazzo came up and he had just, he had started gazing and he was about maybe a third of his way through the gazing and, and this one lady started rocking back and forth and her head would do a, a tilt back and then she would come to an upright position again. And as a guardian, I thought, hmm, I, I, I hope she doesn't fall over. So I, I began to watch her very closely. At the same time, um, as I was watching her, I, I was scanning the whole audience in about two rows behind her. And a little to her left, I noticed a lady going through uh, a type of a convulsion that looked like she was going to throw up. And there were three. She, I saw her do one and then two and then on the third one I thought she was going to go throw up and on the back of this other person and seat. So I've got two, two things here going on and I didn't want to interrupt the Brazzo thing experience for everyone else. So I, I didn't know what to do but the first thing I thought of is well fix this thing now with your mind. <clears throat> so, within seconds after I thought that, two huge angel wings appeared out of my back and almost encompassed the whole crowd of over a hundred people. And then I thought, when I saw those wings, I thought, oh my, that's too big, bring them in closer and what do I do now? And the wings came in closer and there was one person here that was falling, looked like she might fall and the other person was definitely in com serious convulsions now like going to seriously throw up. And the first wing, the left wing goes over and on her back the, fe the, sm the longest feather on the wing runs up her back and then down her back. And immediately, I could tell the difference in her face. It relaxed. Her convulsions went away, and she was fine. And the other one, at the same moment, the other wing was moving over, and <clears throat> two of the feathers, or three, I, I can't remember because they reached around behind her and from above, and the the longest finger went in back of her head to steady her and the other two, one was on her neck and one was on her shoulder blades. And they held there, I'm not sure how long, but they held there and then all, they started, both wings started diminishing, the gold started fading and they were diminishing and coming back and then they just disappeared behind me and I'm assuming they folded back in where they have come out of before. Um, I was very conscious during all of this and I wasn't facing Brazzo and um, I felt as though the situation was totally under control. Um, 
a minute later, Brasso finished and walked off the stage. Immediately, I walked over to the lady that was rocking, and her head was falling backwards every once in a while. And I asked her if she was okay, and if she needed a tissue, as we were giving out tissues to the people crying. And she said, uh, no, she didn't. And I looked her in the eyes, and she looked good. And I walked over towards the other lady, and you could never tell that she, any of that convulsion thing or the throwing up maybe, whatever that was, had happened at all. The situation was totally controlled. It happened. So that was my experience. And then later on, just before the next gazing, and this was in the third to the last gazing on the 21st, later on in the next, uh, just before the next gazing, the, the, the fellow that was uh, walking out in front of Brazzo came over to me and he said, you saw that lady that was rocking really bad. And I said, yes, I did. And he said, um, you should have gone over there and made her sit down. And I went, uh, oh. And then he said um, that in, in um, Europe, they would have grabbed her immediately and taken her out of the audience. And I asked him if he had, had ever um, been in that circumstance before. And he said that he hadn't. Uh, but that is what he would have done. And I told him that I had it under control. And I felt that if anything happened, I would have been able to be there. And I felt very assured of that. Um, I said, did you see the lady in convulsions next to her and behind her? And he goes, no, I didn't see her. And I told him that, well, I was watching both of them. And um, basically, I, I thought that through my um, through my attention, I could, I could, um, hopefully it would go away, and that's what I told him. I didn't mention the wings at all to him. Then we had the next gazing, which was um, basically um, beautiful but uneventful, and then. Um, the lady that was next to me up the aisle a little ways, um, when I was sitting there waiting for the, la the second to the last gazing, had, um, said to me, um, at one point up there, Brazzo turned and looked at me. Um, and she said, I think you moved. And, I, and, then I, and then the next gazing started, and I, I didn't know what to think of that. Um, I was trying to understand what that meant, but I thought I had done something wrong, and I was standing in the same place again as when the wings came out, and Brazzo started gazing. While I was there, I was going through my mind. I, had, uh, I thought I had done something wrong, and I was feeling really bad. And then this thought came in my mind that Brazzo had looked at me just about when the lady was rocking and then my wings came out and they went about what they did to put everything at ease and then disappeared back into my body. Um, I have to tell you that it, it was a little bit... Um, I was a little bit afraid to tell anybody about this because it's kind of verges on supernatural or something, and uh, I, I don't know. You know, I, I didn't know if if uh, what would happen. So later, I asked the the man again that came out with Brazzo. I asked him if Brazzo said anything to him about that, and he said that Brazzo hadn't mentioned the situation at all. So, that was it. 
And that was my experience on the 21st. Now, um, I guess part two would be to tell the story of how I first found the wings. Now, when I first found the wings, was at the Brazzo event in Kona. <clears throat> it was at the conference, the Earth Conference in the summer of um, 2010, which was two Brazzo events before the one I went to. And um, I also volunteered at his New Year's one, but at the Earth Conference, I was, uh, I, I was, a guardian there, but I wasn't close to Broad, so I was in the back. And after the after the conference, I was sitting on the beach at Ho'okina with two friends, and we were we were going to go in the water and swim with the dolphins, and we wanted to create a love thing before we went. And I said to them as we, we were holding hands and as I said and I said to them if I had angel wings I would wrap them around you and we would just be in a golden light of love and in back of in back of them walking down the beach I saw Dr. Michael Salas and another gentleman that had given a talk about angels in the conference. And then right after that, these two wings came out of my back and wrapped around us. And we were in a golden light. And it was really amazing. Um, We held that moment for a few seconds and then the wings went back inside of me and, um, and we got up and uh, went over and said hi to Michael Salas and um, the other person that was with him. And then we went in the water and had a beautiful swim with the dolphins. So that was how the wings came about. And um, they have come out a couple of other times, but um, they, it, it, I was just seeing if they would, I could get them to come out. And um, basically these wings, they, what they reminded me of was, um, well, when my mother was dying and she was in a coma for four months, and, and before I met Brazzo, and, and before um, I, I had had any gazings with him on Skype. I was sitting at home alone and I was very distressed um, because I could tell my mother was dying. And um, in front of me, this angel appeared. And he was a golden angel. And he was about eight, nine feet tall and very wide. Um, I was a dwarf compared to him. And his wings were golden and they were folded, but, but kind of out a little bit enough so that I could see the tips of them almost reaching the floor. And, uh, and they were the same wings that I saw on both occasions when they, it appeared that they came out of me and, and, and um, I don't know what this is all about. But after that happened, I was invited to Angelica's house in, Cap in Captain Cook. And that is when Brazzo, uh, where I held the image of, of my mom, and Brazzo was in Croatia, and uh, we were, you know, on the big island. And I only felt my hands get hot and and my feet get hot 
and um, and a giant grin appeared on my face, but I, I didn't feel anything um, of any giant dynamic movement or anything. But then the next day, when I went to Pahala to the hospital there, um, the elderly section where they had 11 elderly people there that were, um, had, most of them had something serious wrong with them, uh, with strokes and stuff, and um, where my mom had been in a coma and had MRSA in her mouth and had only eaten out of a tube for the last four months. And I walked in the door and uh, they had double doors, so I, I, when I approached the other double doors, uh, the window was there, and, and basically I saw what looked like my mom in the hall, and I, my, my mind said, oh, that can't be, and I opened the door, and my gosh, yes, it was my mom, and she was walking down the hallway at, at quite a clip with her walker, and there was a nurse on each side of her, and they saw me, and I walked up to them, and they said, Lee, we had a miracle. Look at your mother. She woke up this morning and she wanted to eat. And now she got out of bed herself and, and got her walker. And now she was going in there and we had to run over here and we're walking along beside her, but she doesn't need us. This is, this is really a miracle. This, your mother just had a miracle. She, she must be a cat with nine lives. And um, all I could do was hug her. All I could do was hug her. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Brazzo, and thank you, everybody that is doing so much uh, to get Brazzo out. Aloha.